guys, it's Miss Alex and Miss Christy here, um, and we're gonna play some of the games that we played back when we were on Zoom. So we're gonna do five word Bible stories, but if you guess wrong, you get a confetti egg smashed on your head. Confetti egg. So um, if you have anything fun to smash over your friend's or parent's head, go get a raw, get a raw egg. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Um, and then Your mom play. will not be happy with us. Get a boiled egg. Oh, there you go. <laughs> boiled egg. Okay. Yeah. Or like just throw some confetti that you make. Do what you want, guys. It's fine. Um, and Or they can make their own confetti eggs. Get an okay. Easter egg, rip paper up, and put it in it. Then you have your own confetti egg. There you go. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to play five-word Bible stories, and I'm going to go first. All right. My five words. Mountain, people, idol, melt, snake. <laughs> I thought I knew it, but then you said snake. Oh, okay. Mountain, mm -hmm. people, uh -huh. idol, idol, melt, melt, snake. Oh, maybe I. Like I'm going to change snake because I think that I'm combining two stories to drink. 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 <laughs> um, all right. Mountain. People. Mm -hmm. Idol. Mm -hmm. Melt. Drink. drink. Did they melt their drinks? Did they have like a frappuccino <laughs> that they melted <laughs> Um. All right. If I get this wrong, guys, I get a confetti egg smashed on my head. You gotta think of the hard Bible stories, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is it when the people made an idol when Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments? Yes. Yay! So, guys, egg this time. if you don't know, they had to melt the idol and then drink it as a punishment. So, yeah, I like that. It's pretty gross. All right, Miss Krista, your turn. Okay. Fish. Boat, breakfast, uh, sheep, and nets. I almost said somebody's name, but one of the rules of this game is no, no names, because I would give away the story. Okay. I don't so, remember what all I said. <laughs> fish, mm -hmm. boat, mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Cheap question mark and nets. I the sheep has thrown me off. Um, hmm. I don't like confetti. Uh, is it this <laughs> the uh, where Jesus has breakfast with the disciples and tells Peter, "Feed my sheep." And all right, it. okay, no right. confetti. I can promise Alex. All right. Um, All right. You gotta think it's super hard one. I know. I'm like, hold on. I got back dig in, deep. Dig deep in the obscure Bible stories. Um, there are a lot of very interesting, kind of strange Bible stories. I have one. Okay. okay. I feel like my kids at home are gonna remember this because this is a story I taught in kids worship, and it was wild when we all when we heard the story. All right. Prophet. Boy, boy, dead, sneeze, dead. sneeze, mm -hmm. alive. Pinocchio is the first thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story in the Bible. True story, not yep. Pinocchio. Nope. Prophet, prophet, boy, boy, dead, dead, sneeze, sneeze. <laughs> yep, alive, alive. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna guess. Was there a boy that died and the prophet sneezed and then he became alive? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just took all the words and made a new story. Okay. <laughs> all this person is oh, yeah. You get to pick the color. I have all to right, remember how to. Do I, I think you just like crush it. Crush it. Yep. Yeah. Ah, confetti. Ooh, egg. Confetti. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. Remember, it was a lie. Ja. Elijah. That's right. 
and there was a boy who died and he went in and he like laid on top of the boy and like breathed on him and then the boy sneezed seven times and came back to life true story in the bible go look it up i taught it one time it was wild so. yep that that's your that's your homework for this week guys yeah, find go it in the bible <laughs> go look up this story because it is wild and it is yes. a very cool story which if you look up elijah and elisha lots of crazy things happen yes Okay, Miss Krista. <laughs> All right. You gave me an idea. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> now I'm debating which one. I have a couple in mind that are also bizarre, strange stories. Okay. Um, bears. Bears. Beats. Oh, sorry. <laughs> bears. Prophet. Okay. Hair. Okay. <clears throat> um, youths. Youths. <laughs> youths. <laughs> and, um, attack. Okay. I, I Miss Krista taught this story in kids' worship, and I remember we talked about it because we were like, what a crazy story can't remember which prophet because <laughs> it's either Elijah or Elisha and I don't know oh okay I think I'm gonna go with Eli Elijah Is it a oh man he was bald though right <laughs> he was okay so, so wait is it Eli what was it Elisha Elisha all right Miss mm-hmm. Kristen do you remember the story though didn't okay, so there were youths who made fun of Elisha mm-hmm. for being bald, mm-hmm. like Mr. Forty. Mm-hmm. And then he sent a whole bunch of bears to attack them. Yep. That's the story. <laughs> so two things you guys can look up this week that are very interesting <laughs> stories in the Bible. But I said the wrong prophet, so I get I get egged. Uh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Woo! There we go. Mm, These are so fun. They are so fun.